Hello, everybody, and welcome. My name is Marissa, and I'm known here as the Crafty Huffa. So, hello, welcome. Um, hello, Robert. Hello, Deborah. Hi, Autistic Perspective. Hello, Deanne. There's Rebecca. I did hear your questions. I was listening. So, yes, I'm going to answer some of the um, temperature blanket questions that I have. Hello, Mickey. Hi, Robin. Robin! <laughs> Both Robins. Hello, Marie. Welcome. Hey, Crystal. How are you doing? I got my stuff and I absolutely love it. And I'm trying to wait to film a video before I put it on my car, but it's all going on my car. Hello, Odd But Nice. Welcome. So tonight, you guys, I'm going to wait for just a little bit. Um, I will tell you now, one, my voice is starting to go, if you can't hear that. Um, I don't know why, other than that, I've been sleeping with the window open. Um, and two, my dinner is on its way, so it will probably get delivered while we're live. <laughs> so it should have been here 10 minutes, 15 minutes ago, but yeah, my bad. So hello, Samantha. Hey, Pippa, how are you? There's Melissa Barker. Hello, Melissa. How are you doing, hon? Um, Crystal says she needs a color scheme and the hubby is no help. I'm going to talk about that as well. Um, stay hydrated. Yeah, I've got my, this is a 30 ounce tumbler full of water. So I'm going to be drinking it. Um, hello, Melody. How are you? In fact, let me get a drink of that now. I think it's just because I haven't been talking a lot. And so when I do start talking, my voice starts getting wobbly. Anyway, okay. So basically um, for my blanket. So Rebecca and I are going to be collaborating on this temperature blanket. Now, I still have some decisions to make. Um, I think I'm going to be doing mine probably in shades of black, white, and gray, because that'll match everywhere in my house. It'll match my living room with the reds. It'll match my bedroom with the purples. So I think I'm going to be doing black, white, and shades of gray. It's not very exciting, but it's very winter appropriate. And I'm actually not going to be doing granny squares. I changed my mind on that. I had mentioned it as a possibility. But what I think I'm going to do instead is I'm going to be doing corner to corner squares. So this is a blanket that I've been making for a friend of mine. And I'm going to raise the camera so you guys can get a better view of it. And see my messy desktop as well. Okay, so this is a, this was kind of a little bit of the inspiration for my idea. Now, this one, as you can see, this is not one big square. It is four squares that have been attached together. So it's been joined as I go, like I showed you guys how to do last year. Okay, now it's got four different shades of green. So you can see there's this um, on tone. This is more of a um, in person. And let me try that again. This is more of a Kelly green. And then you have this spring green. You have this real pretty Christmas green. And then you have a dark hunter green over here. Okay. And so and then, of course, you can see where the gray is between it. Now, if I'm remembering correctly, I think this one comes out to like. I think it's 11 rows to the increase or no seven rows to the increase and then the decrease. If you don't know how to do this stitch, you guys, we did this last year. I taught you guys how to do this corner to corner. I'm going to be doing mine corner to corner. It's going to do be the same idea. Now, my squares will only be seven rows. So it'll be it'll increase to row four and then I'll start my decrease. So one square per week, which means I'll have 52 squares when I'm done, which means this is going to be like a king size blanket. And then mine won't have the uh, standard color in between. It'll literally just be the rows of the colors. Now, I'm only going to be choosing probably six colors. And I'm going to do mine in 20 degree increments because we go, we have a really drastic um increase in texas so we can go anywhere from like below 10 degrees in the winter to 100 plus in the summer so i'm just going to do 20 degree imp increments and um call that good and so mine will be stripes of various shades of gray 
which means some of my squares will probably be fairly solid, but then I'm going to have this really cool effect, I think. I hope that makes sense. If that doesn't make sense, let me know and I'll try to explain it a different way. Hello, Dearly Crafted. Hello, Marilyn. Welcome. Yeah, it is going to be huge, but I like big blankets. So <laughs> it's all on my channel, Crystal. So there's a, a playlist on my channel called Crochet Tutorials. And all of the tutorials are on there for you from the very basic, how do I start doing a single stitch um, all the way up. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, autistic perspective. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so this is kind of the idea for my blanket. And then I'll take the squares and I'll rotate the stripes different ways, just like I do here. So it will create this diamond effect when it's done with the way that I um, put the squares together. I hope all of that makes sense. But yeah, mine is going to be uh, corner to corner like this one is. So I was originally going to do shades of blue. And then I decided, you know what, that doesn't match anything in my house. Like the only blue room in my house is the bathroom. So the, the black Black, white, and grays make more sense for me. So that's going to be my color scheme. So yay. Hello, Dawn. Welcome. Yeah, it is an easy pattern. I can do corner to corner, like literally in my sleep, you guys. I can watch a movie and feel when I make a mistake in my crochet. So I've been doing it for long enough. It's been around about since 2012. So what is that? Eight years. So I started crocheting in 2012. Okay. We are still working on the, um, live and love to the fullest. This is the crafty myth that Jen got us for the retreat. And I figured this would be a really good, like flip this the other way. Sorry if I got blinded you. Um, I figured this would be good for, my November thank pull kind of goes along with that theme. And you can tell I have not worked on it since we were on camera last week. So I still have my number twos in the tray. So let me reshake these and line them up and then we will get started. And I know that I have missed people coming in. I'm pretty sure I missed people in Rebecca's live and I apologize for that. I am always multitasking on something, which means sometimes I miss things without meaning to. So please don't get offended if I missed you or your comment. Oh, no worries, Dawn. New grandbabies always, always take precedence. So AP says she's a noob. You know the basics, but you're still a beginner when it comes to crochet and knitting. More of a noob at knitting. Just learned to knit last year. Yeah. So, like I said, all of those channels are on um, Dearly Crafted. <laughs> um, all of my cro all of my tutorials are on my channel under the crochet tutorial or the crochet playlist. <clears throat> Dearly says you don't want a blue blankie for the toity time. No, I do not. <laughs> Hello, Alex. Welcome. I just dropped my pen. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Pippa, I figured I'm just going to stick with what I know, call it good, not worry and stress about it, and all of that kind of stuff. So, that is now my plan. Okay. Hello, Phyllis. Welcome. <laughs> okay. So, we're doing number twos. How has, everyone, how has everybody's week been? I took... A little bit of a mental vacation this week. Um, I finished reading our book club book. Started reading a couple of other books. I have watched uh, several of the new Hallmark movies that came out this year. The Hallmark Christmas movies. Because um, let's be honest, that's about all the mental capacity I have right now. And um, I did a little bit of shopping. I went out, mask on. Um, and I tried to go when it wasn't as crowded. 
So uh, Sunday morning, I got up and I went to um, Dollar Tree and to Joann's. Joann's was having a fabric sale. So, you know, I was going to Joann's. If you didn't know I was going to Joann's, <laughs> you should have just assumed. Um, so, you know, and I was in Dollar Tree. There was only about four other people in there, which for that Dollar Tree is really good because it is always packed. And then Joann's, there was, we watched them open the doors. So I think there was about four or five people in there while I was in there. And I had my list and I looked at everything I wanted to look at and found the fabric that I wanted. <clears throat> excuse me and got it and yeah so i've just been chilling and hanging out so i will say that does remind me hey mystical um and there's my dinner hold please Hello. Sorry, folks, give me just a second. Okay, sorry guys. <laughs> A little bit embarrassed about that. I did order at like 5.45, just pizza and cheesy bread. And I know people hate it when other people eat on camera, but you're gonna have to learn to deal with it because I need to get something in me. Okay. <laughs> a book club book with such a so shocking ending and cute little read. I'm not saying a word to you. We will talk about it on Sunday. <laughs> Yeah, so Mystical, I watched the um, the time one where he was, like, transported through time to find his true love about the clock. And now I can't remember the name of it. I watched that one on Sunday. It premiered Sunday night. And then I watched the one that premiered on Saturday, on Sunday afternoon. I went ahead and recorded that one. And then this weekend, I'm going camping. And so I went ahead and set the ones for this weekend to record so that I don't miss those, even though I'm sure they're going to play 50 other times before Christmas and even after Christmas. So, yeah. Dearly says the Hallmark Christmas cheese movies this time of year. Exactly. Everybody is saying hi. Melissa says she could use a mental vacation, too. I completely understand that. I love everybody. I just needed a break from all social media. Let's see. I'm catching up on chat while I'm chewing. I'm sorry if you can hear me chewing. Hello, Shalene. Welcome. AP says, you love the Hallmark movies too. One thing I noticed the other day, though, is they don't have any LGBTQ plus 
not even as side characters. I can understand they're playing to a certain demographic. Actually, AP, they do have a couple of movies where um, the LGBT community is, they are side characters. There was even one that I watched where um, two women got married and the two main characters attended the wedding and were friends with them. So, but I think that one may have been from last year. So it's just a recent thing, but I did see a couple. That was the one, that's the first one that comes to mind. They're not in very many. I'm not going to lie to you. They are not in very many, but I do know there's at least one. Now, granted, that very well could have been, I was going to say it could have been a Lifetime movie, but no, I'm pretty sure I watched it on the Hallmark Channel. So I'm going to assume it's a Hallmark movie. Yeah, exactly, dearly. I had an early lunch. And then I was starting to get real hungry. And if I don't eat soon enough, I will have a blood sugar drop. Do you have a problem with the volume on your Hallmark being low and not going up? Um, I have to turn it up a little more than I do other channels, but that's something that I've noticed across the board with channels is just some channels are just louder than others, if that makes sense. So I think they're just, they just have their channel volume set low. Um, now I just turned my TV up, but I also, you know, my TV stays at like volume 10 or something like that. It doesn't have to be very loud for me to be able to hear it. And so I just turn it up to about, excuse me while I pick my hair out of the canvas. Um, I usually turn it up to about 15, which is a little bit louder than I would normally listen to it, but that works for me. I can hear it just fine. Marilyn, oh, sorry, read that. Hey, Crashly, welcome. Let's see here. Hello, Melanie, welcome. There's Danielle. Everybody slowly coming in. Uh, Diamond Queen. So I've sent out reminders on the Elster. I know a couple of people have responded that they're, you know, sending them out in the next couple of days or something like that. Um, if you have not sent out your Elfster gifts, you need to do that because otherwise I'm going to have to stop being so nice about it once our deadline has hit. So, and I really don't want to have to do that, but I'm hoping everybody will fulfill their commitments to, there it is, right in front of my face, of course. Um, if you signed up, you need to send your gifts. Phyllis says, media is going to make you start drinking soon. Yeah, exactly. I'm probably way behind on chat, guys. I apologize if I am. Tia said, there's a premiere with two men coming also. Okay. Shaleen has watched all the Christmas ones so far. There was one movie also with two women as side characters. Yeah, I think that's probably the one that I saw. Yeah, mine, I don't get it bad sugar drops. I just start getting shaky. So, I don't like that feeling. So, we just do what we can to prevent it and go on like nothing happened. So, but that piece of bread will get me good. It'll be all right. I will not expire on you during my live. How about that? Marilyn says, hers seems like it's super slow. You don't use the TV. You watch it on the computer, the phone, or Kindle. Yeah, so I watch mine on my Amazon Fire TV. Um, I have one of the sticks um, hooked up to my older TV. And so that's what I use it on. I have noticed here lately that I've been having more issues with it buffering than I normally do 
and I can only contribute it to more people being home and using internet because I've never had an issue with my internet buffering here until this year. So I can only assume it's a turducken issue or caused by turducken. Those of you that don't know what turducken is, that's what I call the virus spreading around the world. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to chalk it up to that and hope when maybe eventually we get to go back to kind of normal that my internet also goes back to being normal. Otherwise I'm going to have to change internet companies. And frankly, I've got the best internet company already, so I don't want to have to downgrade. Uh, Mystical, we were talking about Hallmark movies. Um, I was talking about my internet, which is always a lookout uh, for people that do YouTube videos. It's kind of important, just a little. So, yeah. But yeah, so I did that. I went out shopping. Um, I found some good things. I found some Christmas presents. So I've already started buying on that. Um, I trying to think of everything I did this week. I put up my Christmas tree on Saturday, just the tree. Nothing else has been put up. I only put up the tree, but um, I'm going camping this weekend with uh, some of my friends. And I figured that, well, I know that I wouldn't be able to do it this weekend after going camping. And next weekend, when I get to my friends, our tradition is we do Thanksgiving day and then Thanksgiving night, we start putting up Christmas trees at her house. And she puts up many, many, many trees. And so I knew, and I know from experience, if I don't have my tree up, before we start putting her trees up, it's not going to get done. So I made sure to get mine up. It didn't take very long. I had to put new lights on it this year, which I hate stringing lights. Like that's the worst part of everything to me is having to string the lights. And so there's only 400 lights on my tree this year, which is unlike me. There's usually for my six foot tree, there's usually about seven or 800 lights on it because, you know, I like you to be able to see my tree from space. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, there's only 400 lights on the tree this year. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> um, I love putting up my Christmas tree because all of my ornaments, I buy an ornament anytime I go somewhere. And if I don't go somewhere in a year, that I buy an ornament that relates to something good that happened to me that year. So uh, this year we got another St. Jude ornament because we got to go to Memphis um, again this year. And so I got another, I got my third one uh, from there because I got two last year. And then um, we're doing an ornament exchange uh, for our St. Jude committee meeting. And so I figured that'll be my ornament for the year. And then we usually get a Hallmark keepsakes ornament every year. So that'll be my other ornament for this year. Because I don't know that I really want to commemorate 2020, honestly. <laughs> I haven't found anything this year that really is just calling my name which is usually what happens. I know exactly what I want and I get it and all that kind of stuff. And I just haven't found anything this year. So I've been doing that. I have been, um, like I said, Christmas prep shopping. So window shopping, I guess you would call it. Looking at lists, seeing what people want, you know, estimating the cost of it, all of that kind of stuff, making sure I have everything because I'm hoping to do this in as few shipments as possible because the boxes, my God, the boxes are kind of crazy. Phyllis says she's been buffering a lot as well. And so you guys, and we live in a major metro area. 
So we have really good internet and don't usually have issues with our internet here. Um, and I know that we're very blessed to have that. So I'm not bragging. Um, we also pay for that. So, you know, keep that in mind too. Uh, but usually our internet here in the city is, is really good. And here lately, I have not been impressed. Let's put it that way. There we go. Yes, it is a beacon tree. It, it, that's, I'm just saying. Like, if you can't see it from space, what was the point in putting it up? Right? Just me? Okay. So, I'm trying to decide how much I want to put out this year. I've already decided against the village. I have a, probably about a 20 piece, 20 house village that I put up. Don't really want to do that this year. Um, I'll put up the garland outside. I did get some of the large globe ornaments. In fact, I think I have them. Hold on. See if I've got some in reach. Nope, I do not have any in reach. So I've moved those. Um, but some of the ones are, you know, about that big. For my garland outside, because yes, I'm one of those people. Is anybody shocked that I'm one of those people that does the huge ornate garlands with all the ribbon and the giant ornaments and the small ornaments and everything is glitter? Yeah, I'm totally that person at Christmas. Not always, not always, not through all the year, but definitely that person at Christmas. And I'm just saying, I have placed in the apartment decorating contest for the last four years running. I've got a legacy to uphold. So, yeah, <laughs> and I say that completely jokingly, you guys, completely jokingly. Tia says, you've noticed more minorities, too. I'm glad they're div diversifying. Yes, they definitely needed to do that because it was very um, light complected all the way through. Toilet paper ornaments. I have seen one. I've seen a couple of them. Um, and then I also saw... I saw one the other day that I did think about getting and it said um, it was like one of those little wooden ornaments. Um, that's not the right word. A wood slice ornament. It looks like you like cut a piece of tree off like a slice of wood. And it said um, 2020 biggest game of cooties ever. And I, I laughed at that. I thought that one was pretty cute. <laughs> So Dearly says, this has been a very exciting year for your house cleaning. Yeah, you've gotten a lot done this year, Dearly. You have gotten a lot done. So yeah, so I'm planning on that. I did look at the yarn while I was at Joann's on Sunday. And they were out of quite a bit of it. Now, they have been having their Black Friday sales early this year. So I imagine that had something to do with it. So I was not impressed with the selection that I had. I may end up having to go to Hobby Lobby, even though I don't normally shop at Hobby Lobby. Um, but I may end up having to go to Hobby Lobby just to get a better selection of colors. And I also need to go, before I do that, I need to go through my bucket that is below the table here and see what I already have. Because I know I have white. I'm pretty sure I've got at least two or three tones of gray already. So I just need to see what I have available and can start with and then what I need to buy. Uh, have you seen the ornaments with Santa or elves, reindeer, etc., wearing masks and are carrying Lysol and toilet paper? I think I might get one. Yes, I have seen those and some of those are pretty cute. So, but my tree is, is full of memories. I've got memories all over that tree and I love hanging my ornaments up to look back and think back over all those wonderful things. And each one has a memory attached to it. And I love that. Mine is very much a family tree, not a designer tree. Um, kind of a situation. So um dearly says your patio looks awesome when you decorate it at the crafty heifer maybe you can share a pic in your chat sometimes 
Um, let me see if I can, if it's in my camera roll still, because that was a long time ago. So it might still be in here though. It is. Okay. So this is my garland from last year and I'm going to have to auto focus you with my hands. Nope. There we go. So that was it last year. Um, and then I've gotten some more ornaments to put on it this year. And then I will also have an inflatable Santa this year. I found one. So, yeah. And then here it is with the lights once it gets a little bit darker. Then they're LED lights. So I've done that and I've kind of worked on that for several years. It's taken a couple years to build it up to what it has on it now. Don't mention apartment context, Mrs. Coffee. You're, uh, oh, hey, Yvonne. Their online sales are awesome. Joanne's online sales. So, I really hate the Joann's website. Am I the only one? It is really hard to find stuff that you want to navigate. They do have good online sales. I just have a hard time finding what I want. And then a lot of times they'll say can be delivered. And then you click into it and they will not let you purchase it. Because I was going to order the fabric that I wanted instead of going to the store and they couldn't, they were like, no, we're sold out online. And then it didn't show any in the store. And I went to the store anyway. And sure enough, they had several bolts of it. They had pre-cuts. They had all kinds of stuff. So yeah, I'm, I'm not real impressed with their website. Flip that over. Sit down. There we go. Shalene says hers is a family tree. Dearly's is a family tree. Marilyn still puts tinsel on her tree. I like it, Marilyn. I do like it. I went and got, oh, sorry, guys. I'm going to have to get the kid to help me. And by kid, I mean my niece. To help me figure out why this doesn't autofocus like it's supposed to. Um, it's supposed to autofocus, but it does not. Anywho. Um, I went a couple years ago and got some of the good old traditional bead garland in my tree and it just makes me so happy. It's a very nostalgic thing and it just makes me really happy. So, you know, if you want to put bead garland or popcorn garland or tinsel or whatever on your tree, do it because it is your Christmas tree. Now, granted, I don't have anybody to fight with over what goes on my tree, so there's that. So take this with a, you know, grain of salt for your margarita. But um, if it makes you happy on your Christmas tree, do it. I have never seen a horrible Christmas tree. That's not what they're about, right? At least to me, that's not what they're about. Now, a tree that has ornaments on it that are more expensive than probably everything that I own... I'm not so much about those. They're real pretty, but don't let me within five feet of it because, yeah, inevitably I will break something because I'm graceful just that way. <laughs> AP says her tree is a hodgepodge of memories. Oh, thank you guys. Michael's site isn't fun to shop either here anyway. Most of the time it says check store. Yeah. Yeah. They need to do some work to make it a little more user friendly to find things. I will say Michael's as far as um, floss goes, like uh, crochet or not crochet floss, embroidery floss and stuff like that. Michael's does a better job. Because you can literally type in DMC, you know, 819 in the search bar 
and it will pull it up. Um, at Joann's, it pulls up every single skein of floss that they have or every DMC product that they have. It doesn't pull up just the one that you're looking for. Shalene says no tinsel for her because she has cats. Yeah, the cats do really love the tinsel. They really, really love the tinsel. <laughs> I used to put uh, bells. When I had cats, I would put jingle bells at the bottom of the tree. And um, some of those ornaments, I'm pretty sure that came from like my grandmother or my great grandmother. Um, but they were all like fabric stuffed ornaments, you know, in the shapes of bells and um, stockings and things like that. They were just stuffed ornaments. And so if they got them off the tree, they could play with them. But then it kind of deters them from trying to get up, or at least the cats I had, it deterred them. From trying to climb in the tree because then they had something they could play with from underneath the tree and then i had one cat she just wanted to sleep under it she was perfectly content just to lay under it um it was real cute we got lots of cute pictures of her pippa said her cats were okay with the trees deanne says her husband doesn't care um yeah cats getting hurt from tinsel well, Mickey hasn't put up a tree in nine years, but she still has the ornaments and all those memories. She's also kind of Jewish. So there's that. <laughs> I don't know if that's why you don't put up a tree, but um, those of you that have been around for a while, you know um, that I lost basically my little brother. We're not, not actually blood related, but in every way that mattered, he was my little brother. We lost him December 20th, um, 2006 in Iraq. And so Christmas is a very bittersweet time for me. Um, he loved Christmas. He was a complete and total Santa, Buddy the Elf, like all of the Christmas cliches. He loved Christmas. And so we would always do Christmas together because I love Christmas. And so that was our thing. And my way... Of remembering him is remembering those memories and that's why it's such a big deal to me and that's why I talk about it a lot um, I know not everyone has good memories of Christmas and um, you know it's one of those things but I also battle depression more and battle wanting to do things and be social and all of that kind of stuff more this time of the year than probably any other time of the year so, you know, for me, there was, I think one year I didn't put up a Christmas tree and then I kicked myself for not doing it because he would have thrown a hissy fit and there's no other word for it. He'd have thrown a walleye hissy fit y'all. And so I just decided from then on, I was putting up a tree because he would want me to put up a tree. And so even the years I don't put up the village or I don't go all out or, you know, decorate every surface with garland and lights, which is what I love to do, then I make sure to at least get the tree up. So Mickey's had a tree for as long as you can remember. Your stepmom wasn't Jewish. Gotcha. Okay. And you're not a practicing Jew either, but, you know, it's one of those things. Oh, Pippa says the kittens climbed it. Yeah, so my kitten did when I had, when she was little, she would climb it, but she just wanted to sit on the branches. And at that time I had, which I still own it technically, but my best friend uses it. I have a tree that was passed down for my parents and it is a seven and a half foot tall and it is got a six foot circumference at the base. And I think it's got, or it started with, let me rephrase that. It started with like, I think it was like 70 branches that you have to put on. So it's like the ones that you have to like hook in. Um, and so you have to categorize them by size and all of that kind of stuff. Um, it's a massive, massive tree. And so there was not a chance that this little two pound, three pound kitten was going to overturn that tree. So that was the year we switched over to shatterproof ornaments. <laughs> Um, instead of hanging the super expensive glass ones. So, yeah. Um, 
you know, you just make accommodations for your pets. But she was content. She would get down towards the bottom of the tree. If she wasn't underneath it, she would get down towards the bottom of the tree. And she could literally, the branches were so wide and so thick, she could lay on a branch. And then you just see this little head pop out. So that's been my experience. Now we have had cats knock over trees before and all that stuff, but most of the time we don't really have a problem with it. Danielle said her cats were too. You grabbed the, the water spray bottle. Yep, that's the way to do it too. Um, yeah, they you don't want them to eat it, definitely. Catching up with chat. Yeah, Don. <laughs> Crashly just had a light bulb moment, you guys. She said it didn't occur to her until just now that having five cats in a Christmas tree is going to be insane. Is there not a life hack out there for this? Um, no, not really. Don't. It, it does help if you don't make your lights move. Like if you just keep them like steady on, that helps. But yeah, if it's sparkly or shiny or anything like that, you're probably going to have an issue. Um, so you might want to invest in some shatterproof ornaments. Make sure they won't break if they fall. And keep your breakable pretty ones put away if you have those. I know some people do and some people don't. So there was a few years that not all the ornaments went on my tree. Um, just the unbreakable ones. So, and then as she got older, she really just was content to lay underneath it. Or on it. Phyllis hates the holidays. It's a love-hate relationship for me. Yeah. Melissa says her daughter wants to decorate the tree with a bunch of candy canes this year. I think she just wants to eat the candy all month long. We usually do something different every few years. So I started out, I think my very first Christmas was when I was in college and I got to decorate my own tree. And I chose red and gold. I don't know why, but that's what I chose to start with. And then... Um, I'm trying to think. I think we did like red and traditional like Christmas green a couple years after that. And then once I graduated college, which I went to Texas Tech and the colors at Texas Tech are red, black and or technically red and black, scarlet and black. And then we do usually white or gray as an accent color. And so I started doing um black ornaments on my tree and they're absolutely gorgeous um i started doing black ornaments on my tree when i moved uh to midland so that would have been 2008 i believe that christmas i started doing black ornaments and my tree is still the same color scheme underneath and then um of course because i've got so many different ornaments now from all the places that I've been able to do, you know, things I've been able to do, places I've been able to go, then you see more of those than you really see of the color scheme itself. And in fact, oh, I do have some. So these are the, the balls that are on my tree. Is that not just, it's like the, it's like the 310 sparkles, you guys. It was 310 before I knew what a 310 was. And they just, they surprisingly, they throw off a lot of light. Like amazing, amazing amounts of light with from the lights on the tree. So I've got those. And then we have the red shiny. We have the red glitter. Um, several in that color family and all of that kind of stuff. So, yeah. So I just, I love the black ornaments. They're so pretty. And then I have silver globe ones that look like disco balls. Yeah. Those will blind you if you get it at the wrong angle. <laughs> um, so, oh, I really did miss out on chat. Okay. Uh, D 
Jelly says she had a husky that used to pee at the bottom of the tree and poop and pop the glass bulbs when they were within reach. She was special. Special. <laughs> Robin says she has shatterproof ornaments and her tree is empty at the bottom for the dogs. Yeah. Uh, we have not done Wednesday wins. Oh, okay, Phyllis, throw in your Wednesday win real quick so you can tell us before you leave for work. Uh, Pippa says, but the premieres are happening again, so we are in this together. Yes. Yeah, I know a lot of people look forward to the premieres, and I do as well. So let's talk about next Wednesday. That brings me to next Wednesday. So for those of us here in the States, next week is Thanksgiving. And so if you guys remember last year, I posted a couple of videos while we were cooking because we do a lot of our prep work the night before, at least in my family we do. And so we are going to start cooking. I'll be doing the dressing the night before. Um, so on Wednesday, I am going to go live. Now, I will be at my best friend's house. So the camera angles, the lighting, none of that is going to be up to the usual standard of what you guys see. So there's not going to be an overhead shot. I'm probably going to be in my pajamas, just FYI. Um, you might even see my legs if it's warm enough for shorts. I think it's supposed to be about 75 degrees on Thanksgiving. So I'm going to bring you guys into the kitchen and we are going to cook thanksgiving dinner while we chat next week on wednesday so that's what i'm going to be doing i will go live um, in my normal time slot and we're going to cook so you'll see me taste testing the food and all of that kind of stuff um, the kid zoe is having surgery um, on friday of this week so she will not be helping this year she will be completely non-weight bearing on that leg, um, I think for six weeks or something like that, at least. So I may have to, you know, step away and help her if she needs assistance. But yeah, we're going to cook next week. So we'll have a little, if anybody is here, I know some of you will be. That's what we're doing. Uh, Pippa. When are you putting out info about the premieres? Because I know a lot of people have been asking me and I keep referring them over to you because um, I don't think they are realize that that's your, your baby there. Um, so can you give us some info? Do you have any info about that yet? Marilyn says as a teen, she got to have her own tree in her own room. Nice. Zoe's got her own tree. She's had one for since she was little. Have you no, I'm not eating anymore until after we're done. And then I can like throw, you know, just completely act like I have no manners when I'm not on camera. Turkey Day USA. Exactly. So we are doing. Um, so we're going to have, I believe, ham and turkey breast because there's only going to be four of us eating uh, ham, turkey breast, and then we're going to do uh, dressing, which is different than stuffing. I know we've I've, I've given this lecture before and I'm not going to get on my soapbox about it, but we're going to do dressing. We're going to have deviled eggs. We're going to do a um, sweet potato Brussels sprout mix. Um, We'll have green bean casserole and then she's going to make, I think that she's making pumpkin cheesecake and a an cranberry orange cobbler, I think is what she told me. So Nicole handles the desserts. That's my best friend. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I'll, I'll work on my best Julia Charles voice that I used to do better when I was little. Um, yeah, I know spicy, right? <laughs> but yeah, so that's what we're going to do next week. So let's go ahead. Um, it's, we've got a little more than 10 minutes left. So I don't think Sherry's going on tonight. Um, and let's go ahead and do Wednesday wins. So if anybody here is new and you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, 
excuse the language. Wednesday wins are for us to celebrate the great things that happened this week. And um, <laughs> Julia was terrible, but she talked funny. Um, Wednesday wins are the great things that happened this week. Any kind, anything we can celebrate about milestones reached, babies being born, all of the fun stuff. And then we get to share our joy with others and be happy for each other and remind ourselves that it's easy to count the bad things that are happening, but it's better to count your blessings. So a little bit of positivity during the middle of the week when, you know, all hope seems lost because it's no longer Monday, but it's not Friday yet. So what awesome sauce stuff happened this week to everybody? So I got some wonderful friend mail. I've been using my Secret Santa gift literally every night. Which is why you haven't gotten a video yet. Because I couldn't wait to open it and uh, put it to use. So I've literally been using it every night. Um, I'm going camping. Which is always exciting for me. And yeah. I've just had a pretty good week overall. Nice chill week. AP says, mmm, pumpkin cheesecake. Yep. I told her, like, listen, you can have one experimental dessert, but something about Thanksgiving, I, I've got to have certain things on Thanksgiving to make it feel like Thanksgiving. And pumpkin something is one of them. Pippa says she has her spreadsheet ready to go and needs to record your invite. The messenger group will be messaged and we can go from there. Perfect. Melissa says you're working the eve and day nights on Thanksgiving. So um, your immediate family is celebrating on Tuesday. We can be thankful every day. Exactly. Yeah, he can be thankful any day. Uh, what was the movie where the girl cooked from her book, though? Um, Julie and Julia, I think is what you're talking about. Pippa Brown. It was with Amy Adams in it with a really bad hair. Cut. Yeah. Um, Crashly says she still can't get over how that's Hugh Jackman in The Greatest Showman. Your mind is just blown. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure what, where that came. He is a dish. Definitely. Uh, he's also devoted to his wife, Deb, and it's gorgeous to see. Yeah, definitely. And she's just like a regular, normal person. Like she is not, she's not ugly by any means, but she's just like, a person that you would see at the mall or, you know, in the Joann's or whatever. She's not, you know, a Hollywood starlet with all the things. Not saying they're not regular people, but you know what I mean. Some of them are gorgeous. And I am not ashamed to say I'm kind of jealous. Uh, Crystal said her son came home from Kentucky for two days, just called and said he made it home safe. That is awesome, Crystal. We're so happy that he made it home safely. Diamonds on Kirby. Hello. Welcome. Um, her son is in high school and he earned straight A's for the first time ever. And his team won the district football championship. Congratulations. That is awesome. That's a great Wednesday win. There you go. And, you know, straight A's nowadays are a lot harder to earn than they were back in back in my day. Hey, Ann. Trying to make sure I don't miss anybody. Hello, Queen. Hey, Hello, Queen. Says Hugh Jackman has been in musicals way longer than he was an action star. He definitely has. He's so good. He just. He's one of those men that I'm kind of like, can we just duplicate him and all have one can we do that you know okay um because i would take one <laughs> pippa said her computer died yesterday and her husband aka hero fixed you up a new build with all your data and it's amazing i heard it had like 19 fans on it or something i was kind of watching chat a little bit earlier So, you know, that's a lot to make it run the way it does. 
but yeah, that's the fact that he did that in less than 24 hours is awesome sauce. Whoop, whoop. Going back, going back. Uh, Melissa says her Wednesday win is that her hubby surgery went well and he is recovering very well. Also that you had the last 10 days off to take care of him and your father-in-law who also had surgery. I am so happy to hear that, Melissa. How is your father-in-law doing? Irene says, hello. Hello, Irene. Welcome. Yeah, let's duplicate him. Okay, so I'm just saying, like, everybody could have a hue. You and you and you can have a hue. That's the new motto. I mean, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Diamonds on Kirby says she just rewatched The Greatest Showman earlier. She loves that movie. All Australian men are like him. Hubby said that. Oh, is that what it is? Okay. All right, Mr. Brown. <laughs> so I just have to get myself an Australian, is what you're saying. Now, would that Australian, do you think, be willing to move to Texas? Because I am through and through a Texas girl. I would love to visit Australia, but I don't think I'd want to live there. Fix us up, Pippa. You can do a Men of Australia calendar and give us the chance to win a date with a real Australian Outback man. <laughs> I'm definitely not dating him if he lives in the Outback. I'm sorry. I require city streets. Of some sort. This is why I'm not married, y'all. I'm too damn picky. Just saying. <laughs> um, Melissa says he unfortunately had a stroke after his surgery and is suffering mentally, but taking it one day at a time right now. I'm sorry to hear that, Melissa. Let us know what you need, what we can do for you, even if it's sending dinner or having a chat or whatever you know i'm only an hour out so let me know and i'll be there hello manda welcome yep that's the ticket okay pippa says you want to take the surfer to the middle of the u.s well i mean not necessarily but i can't live in the outback I mean, you know, maybe maybe we can do a rotation where we live there six months, the good six months of the year, and we live here the good six months of the year, which, you know, is winter. Maybe. Put that on my application. How about that? Willing to travel. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Definitely, we can do prayers and good vibes appreciated right now. We can definitely do that. We do have coastal towns. Yes, we do. We don't have very good surfing, however. So I've been told. So let's put some um, hearts up for Melissa and for anybody else that is hurting and doesn't want to. Speak up and that's okay. I'm not calling anybody out about that. That is your personal preference there. Um, let them know. We love them. And we are always here for them. And send them a little extra love. Yes, must be able to do the St. Jude stuff. Exactly. Vacation on rotation. There you go, Melissa Barker. That's the way to do it. I'm just saying, it could be winter all year long. And I'm okay with that. So you guys do that, and I'm going to adjust these drills. We're going to try to finish this section up here in the next couple of minutes, and then I will let you all go. But my goal tonight was to get this section finished. I'm not rolling my thing like I'm supposed to, which is why I'm having so much trouble. There we 
go. That is a lot of hearts, you guys. AP says her dad was from New Zealand, so you're partial to Kiwis, but you'll take an Aussie man if you got any to spare. See? God, the accent, you guys. I'm just saying. I know a couple of Aussie men. They are fantastic people. They are fantastic men. They're pretty sexy, actually. So, yeah, that's probably going to come back to bite me that I said that. But I'm sure I'll get a message. They do kind of have big egos sometimes, though. You got to you gotta watch that. Make sure their heads don't get too big for doorways. <laughs> Pippa says, gee, we could be onto a thing here. I'm just saying. I always thought... I probably would marry, like, in my 40s. Um, it'll probably be to, like, a Brit or an Australian or something, somebody with an accent, not an American accent. Um, we would probably not have kids unless he already had kids. And we'll probably travel and be the cool aunt and uncle that buys really expensive, ridiculous things. That's my life goal, you guys. That's my life goal. <laughs> no problem, Mystical. Have a good week. I hope that you are doing well. And uh, I hope that you have a wonderful week. Hello, Queen says the accent gives them the leg up in that department. For, for real, though. Rifko probably would agree. Definitely. She'd be like, listen, he's got these friends. <laughs> I just don't know if I could live that far from my family, you guys. To be honest, like, I don't know how, how, you know, like Rachel and Rivka and them do it. And live that far from their families. Who you calling a hoe, Tia? Dang. Unnecessary. How about we all go visit Pippa and hang with Mr. Brown, and when he tries to go to the local pub, have him introduce us to his friends and coworkers. I imagine Mr. Brown's friends are probably married. Just as a guess, because most people that are couples have friends that are also couples. Just saying. Not always. That's a generalization, but just an observation that I've noticed. I mean, I'll go to the pub. Sure. Where else are you going to meet an Aussie? And if we can go, and if you know anything, we're going to have to study our rugby and our Aussie rules football, you guys. I'm pretty sure they like that. <laughs> Pippa says her sister is what I jokingly call the 50-year-old virgin. Well, no, I'm not, I can't say that. Um, I'm not going to say what I was going to say. But, yeah. <laughs> Amanda just wants a millionaire. She was 50 when she married. Not sure about the other statement, but she was single through the mid-years. Yeah, I mean, I honestly don't mind being single. It's got a lot of benefits to it. A lot of benefits. Tia says, I see you with a Texan with a real deep southern drawl. He wears a Stetson and boots. He probably does. That's probably who I'll marry. Um, not that there's anything wrong with that. I'm just going to go ahead and pull these up. And put some sparklers down. You see them? Woot, woot. Sparkler alert. <laughs> there we go. He gnaws on straws and says, howdy. Now, that's just... A generalization, Tia. Nobody around here says howdy. We all say hi, y'all. Or hey, y'all. Or what in the hell are y'all doing? That also comes out of our mouth pretty frequently. Uh, <laughs> you don't do it that way. <laughs> Nothing wrong with being the crafty aunt. I'm just saying it's it's worked real well for me so far. Depends on the family. He said he doesn't have friends. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, Mr. Brown, if you only knew. <laughs> no problem, dearly. We're almost done here. Ooh, Tia just got some more sparklers today. That would make her 87,000th bag. But we're not counting because she's got them hid all over her apartment. So maybe she's going to move out of that condo, you guys. And the next person is going to be like, what are these sparkly things that I keep finding everywhere? So like whenever I go somewhere, my friends know I've been there because I leave bobby pins. Tia leaves sparklers in her wake. I'm pretty sure. They just like fall out of her clothes and her shoes and things like that. Pippa says she'd take Kevin Costner. Mm, okay. Um, but he's in Montana. Montana's too cold. Like, that, that's too cold. Any place that it drops below zero is too cold for me. My blood's too thin for that. Um, Danielle says, yep, there too. See? <laughs> Uh, AP says, you've been single so long. I don't think anyone can handle living with me. I'm set in my ways. I'm just saying that too. That also. Yes. Um, sparklers are all discounted right now, Pippa says. That's an enabler alert. I should have said that first. Enabler alert. Sparklers are all discounted right now. You'll never get a better price. Pippa, are you a affiliate with sparklers? <laughs> <laughs> are just addicted to them like Tia is asking for for me basically um don't say that I gotta take them all with me <laughs> uh Halloween says if I ever sell this house they're going to be finding drills for years yeah I'm still finding drills over where I used to when I first started doing that um over in the other corner on the opposite side of the living room. My drills were over there. And that was like where my table setup was. And I still find drills when I vacuum. Uh, Pippa also has a massive stock and she's an admin in the group. Oh, Lord. All right, folks. This is where I leave you for the week. Because my stomach is growling and my food is sitting over there and I can smell it. So... I want to say thank you again, as always, for taking time out of your day to spend with me. We don't have a lot of time most of the time, uh, most days. And every time that you take time out of your day and spend it with me, I just feel so blessed. Um, remember, if you are on the Elster Exchange, please make sure that you have sent your stuff so I don't have to yell at you because I don't want to do that. Um, if you liked what I had to say tonight and you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Ring that cowbell because we all know everybody needs more cowbell in their lives. And until I see you next week, you guys, happy diamond painting, happy stitching until we meet again. Bye, guys. <laughs>